So the Sew Together 22 challenge rolls on. If you're not familiar with this challenge, it's something that I created um, on my Instagram to help create like a sense of community where everybody could vote on a pattern and make that same pattern throughout the month, post their versions of their makes, and just give the sewing space a kind of bit of unity. I think sometimes it can be an isolating sort of hobby. Everybody's kind of doing their own thing. Um, but whenever you have these challenges and everybody's kind of like focused on the same thing, I don't know, the energy about that pattern feels a lot different. Um, so I have like themes for the months all planned out already. Um, and so for February, it was nightwear I was, or nightgowns or pajamas. And I was kind of thinking along the lines of like Valentine's Day, not necessarily that it has to be sexy, but I, I don't know. I feel like when I wear pajamas that I have made, I have a different little pep in my step. You know what I mean? Not necessarily that I feel sexy in them, but you know, there's, just, there's a sense of pride whenever you make something yourself. And you know, that extends to sleep as much as it does to whatever you wear out in the day. So um, everyone had four patterns to choose from like they do every single month. They voted on Instagram stories, which is where that's where that goes down every month. So if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and do that now. Just pause the video, go follow me on Instagram, and then you will we'll see like I post a post and then the story and you'll just see whenever it um whenever the the voting goes live. But everyone ended up pretty much unanimously. I mean, it was a landslide. Landslide victory for the Love Notions Tranquil Nightwear. Um, this pattern, I mean, all of Love Notions patterns are exceptional for a lot of reasons. The instructions are great. They have wonderful like tutorials and sew alongs. The fit is always really good. They have a wide variety of sizes, all of that stuff. Um, so I know that if any of you are sewing this, whether you're a beginner sewer or otherwise, you're gonna be in good hands working with a Love Notions pattern. But I do wanna go over some of the details of the pattern, some things that I am looking out for. Um, fabrication, like fabrics you should be using, fabrics maybe you shouldn't be using and we'll just kind of talk through the pattern like that all right so you can see here this is the love notions tranquil um nightwear collection there is a dress top shorts and pants and i'm pretty sure you can like swap out sleeves on all of these as well so the description is the cute and be comfortable in your pajamas decent enough to run the kids to the bus stop Four pieces, full length bottoms, shorts, tee, and nightgown. The tee and nightgown feature a faux crossover done in either binding, pico trim, or even fold over elastic. The long sleeves and full length bottoms also feature the crossover trim. This pattern is meant for knit fabrics. And you can see that detail here. Let me make this big. Um, so you have the crossover detail here in both necklines, but you also have it on the sleeve trim of the longer sleeve and the pant hem, which I think is super cute. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to add it also to the shorts. I don't know why they didn't. Maybe it's like bulky or I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to see what the construction of this is like um, and then determine if I want to add it to the shorts or not. But that could be, you know, a really cute option. Um, otherwise, it kind of gives me like nurse scrub vibes so just be careful with your print of your fabric that you choose so that you can kind of avoid that but you can see here whenever you sew it up in beautiful florals it looks really great that's where they use this pico trim stunning um here's one in polka dots with a contrast trim there's might also be the pico trim too this one i think used binding um Mixing and matching solids and prints is always a really good idea to make it not look like, <laughs> you know, office wear. Couple different options there. So you guys can go through all these pictures and see some of the many different versions that were made, many different fabrics that were used, as well as um, the patterns on different body types, which is so important. Uh, I think Love Notions patterns, look how pretty this is. Love that detail. I think they go up to a 4X. Um, let's see if they have a 5X actually. And here is their size chart. The sizing is full bus is 33 up to 57 and a half. And the hips for the pants are 35 and a half up to 59 and a half. So that's the size chart. So very inclusive in that regard. Amazing. 
Uh, back to the listing though, let's talk about fabric a little bit. They said, meant for knit fabrics, here's your four pieces. We already went over all of this, blah, blah, blah. All right, and the pattern formats that you get, there's also a little girls collection and there's a full sew along. So I know you guys are always asking for sew alongs from me for the sew together patterns, but look, they already have one here, which is why I love using any patterns for sew together because they have done a lot of that already. Okay, fabric wise, let's talk about fabrics. This pattern is designed for like a lighter weight fabric. I wouldn't say necessarily something like 100% rayon, but definitely a cotton blended with some kind of rayon will be really nice. You are looking for a little bit of drape because you do want the fabric to kind of fall a little bit closer to your body. Certainly not clingy. That's what the 100% rayon would be like. Um, so if you can find something with like a little bit of weight to it and also drapey, ish <laughs> it's this fine balance with this one that said though you could definitely go for a hundred percent cotton jersey and you would just have a fabric that kind of stands away from the body a little bit more in which case you might consider sizing down especially in the areas of the pattern that are not fitted like i think across the bust it's pretty fitted so maybe keep that to the the um the ease pattern and design ease that was draft that it was drafted for but maybe like in your sleeve and in your waist and your hips you might want to size down so that you won't get the full boxy look it'll just fit a little bit closer kind of like a t-shirt would you can also use different fabrics different substrates for the top than you do with the shorts um, the shorts could definitely stand up to a more structured fabric like that cotton jersey and then you could go like a little bit lighter weight in the top and have like a nice combination there the dress though i really feel like the dress should be you should try and do that in a, in a fabric that has a good amount of drink to it not a hundred percent not like fully falling in on itself but kind of somewhere in the middle between that and like a fully structured cotton jersey for the trim you have a few options you can do fold over elastic which do not be intimidated by that it is so easy to do it's the same stuff that goes in the leg openings of underwear. Swimwear has it sometimes. It's super easy to sew. And even at places like Joanne, they have a wide variety of colors and sizes. So definitely check that out if you're wanting an easy option. The Pico trim might be a little bit harder to find only because that's like sort of a specific bra making um, notion. You might be able to find it at Joanne in like where they sell the trims and stuff like that. Um, but it definitely adds that beautiful like scalloped vibe which is so pretty i am going to be using the binding i think the binding is probably going to be the easiest option of all three not that any of them are like super, way more difficult than the other but i just i don't know i love a binding i love the way it lays super flat easy to sew so with all that said this is the fabric that i'm going to be using Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> um, I ended up ordering new fabrics for this make. Normally I use my stash fabric, but honestly, I did not have any good options in the yardage that I needed. So I went to June and Lou. Um, they have a wonderful collection of Jersey knits, which is exactly what this is. So this is the more structured of the fabrics that I would recommend for this pattern. This one is 95% cotton, 5% lycra. So you can imagine it is gonna be a little bit more like one of those, you know, t-shirts that is a little bit more structured, a little, I mean, certainly less clingy. I'm gonna try and open it up for you guys. If, if you wanna, if you've never sewn with cotton jersey before, 100% cotton jersey, um, it kind of is like, a super, I'm, I might regret saying this, but it's like a super, super, super lightweight ponty. Don't let that scare you. I know that that sounds bad. They are not alike. Jersey and ponty are nothing alike, but it definitely has that kind of like structured vibe to it. This is before it's been pre-washed at all. So it might um, drape up a little bit more after I wash it, but you can see that it's not it's not super, super, super lightweight or even drapey like a rayon jersey would be. 
Uh, um, I think a blend of cotton and rayon would be the best option. Like if you're going to go to fabric.com, you can certainly put those in your search. But I just love this for sleeping. I love the fact that it's an organic cotton. I love the fact that it's cotton because so it's breathable um, for sleeping. You know what I mean? Like I sleep a little bit hot in my older age. <laughs> and um, I think having 100% cotton would be really nice. Of course, it's super soft. And it's going to last a while, too, because of it, the fact that it's jersey knit. You know, like imagine your T-shirts, your favorite T-shirts can last decades, decades and decades. So this is what their 100% cotton jersey looks like. Here's the drape, the weight, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So the intention, you're probably wondering, why does she have three different prints? So the intention behind this for me is to make like a set that can be worn together, but not be matchy matchy and also worn apart just to give myself some options with it. So I'm thinking about making the top in this floral and then there have this coordinating seed print in the same little pink that's in the lily flowers. Um, and I was thinking that for the shorts, I might swap those. I still haven't fully made up my mind on that. And then the green, I was thinking for the binding since the green would kind of tie in both fabrics that's what i'm thinking but i'm still fully fully undecided <laughs> you can't tell but those i ordered enough of each of them that i could kind of swap them out however i wanted um so that's my plan i'm going to be using the cotton jersey i'm going to be considering sizing down um in areas where i don't want it to fit super boxy i'm obviously going to use my fast fit workbook Da, da, da. <laughs> and this is going to help me um, determine what bust size to make for the top. Um, and then I might consider, instead of, I normally have to grade out in the waist, um, I might consider just making a straight size, whatever matches my bust. I think that would match up with the, um, with the kind of weight and structure of the fabric. And then for the shorts, I will be using my hip measurement and then relying on that elastic to kind of really pull things in at my waist. So that's sort of the plan. Grab the workbook, grab the fast fit worksheets if you haven't already. That will really help you make heads or tails of what size to make in this pattern or any other pattern. Um, all the instructions and how to, you know, understand it all are included in both whether you get the worksheet or the workbook, link in the description box. Oh, also, Love Notions gave me a coupon after they saw that they won on Instagram. They gave me a coupon inside Tranquil for 10% off. That's really sweet and awesome for them to do that. Link in the description box for the pattern. I hope you guys all go grab it, sew it with me. There is no deadline. You do not have to post this by the end of the month. Most people will, but you do not have to. I don't want this to be one of those things that adds to your stress level. I want it to be something fun that you enjoy doing and you feel like the camaraderie with your fellow sewists. That is it. No stress, <laughs> no worries. We're all just having fun here. I have linked to the top that I'm wearing. This is my most recent Sew Together Make. This is actually the pattern from November, the Style Arc Freya. I did a whole pattern review on this recently. I've linked that here in the end slate. Click that little box in the bottom right corner of your screen. You'll go right to that video. Other than that though, that's it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye.